Hello, 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 and welcome to Radio Free Filler. Today we have a special guest, Tim the Tiger. Now a lot of people may not have even heard of Tim the Tiger and may be wondering why we're so excited to have him here tonight, so we're going to give him a chance to tell his own story in his own words. And now, here he is. Excuse me for just a minute. What? What's going on? Just a quick survey. I'm sorry, I, I don't own the property here. You'll have to check with the landlord before you bring in a lot of surveyors. It isn't that kind of a survey. I'm actually more like a pollster. Upholster? You know, I once had a chair that was upholstered. <laughs> Congratulations. On having had an upholstered chair? No, on being the 500th person to make that lame joke this month. You win a lump on the head. A what? Just bend over a little. <laughs> okay, I deserve that. Some people are just happy to win anything. So, now that I have this lump on my head, what is this survey about? It's a COVID-19 survey. Oh my, I'm sorry I doubted you. That's a really important subject and very much deserves to be a part of our show. That's why I'm here. Now, let's begin. What is your favorite thing about COVID-19? I beg your pardon? Your favorite thing. You know, what do you like best about COVID-19? I don't like anything about it. Are you sure we're talking about the disease? Yes, that's right. The disease. Are you sure you can't think of anything you like about it? Of course not. I think it's terrible. Who in the world would have anything nice to say about it? My client. My client is in favor of it. He wants to create a positive image for the coronavirus. I don't see how that's possible. But you do agree that it's an important subject, don't you? Yes, yes, of course. And you do agree that it is worthy of discussion, don't you? Well, yes, obviously. And you won't deny that there are two sides to every question, will you? Now, that's where I draw the line. I do believe there's such a thing as right and wrong. You'll never get me to say that I'm in favor of coronavirus. I don't need to. I'll get what my client wants just by selecting the questions. Oh yeah? Give me an example. Glad you're cooperating. Here's one. On a scale of one to five, please rate your feelings about the coronavirus. What does one mean? One means you think it's great. Okay, what does five mean? Five means you think it's fantastic. Uh-oh. So, what does three mean? Three means you think it's superior. And what about two? Two means you think it's awesome. And what if I say four? I say, congratulations! You're the 500th person to ask about four this month. You win another lump on the head. <laughs> Can you put the second lump a little on the other side? I want to be symmetrical. Of course. We aim to please. <laughs> well, that's showbiz. Now, if you don't mind, I think we've spent enough time on this. That's fine. I've gotten everything I needed. 
Really? I didn't think I'd actually answered any of your questions, and I, I certainly didn't say anything positive about COVID-19. No matter. You see, this conversation has been recorded for quality assurance, selective re-editing, and playback at our annual office party. <laughs> Don't worry. We got plenty. Ta-ta for now. How do you like that? Boy, that guy sure packs a wallop. Hey, here comes someone. Hello, everyone. Who are you? I'm your special guest, Tim the Tiger. I've come to rescue you from that other guy. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm still a little bit dazed. So I see. Nice lumps. Are you growing horns? No, I earned these. What a coincidence. I have to earn my stripes every day. Really? No, but doesn't it sound good? Everything sounds good right now, especially aspirin. How about some nice tiger balm? Sure, why not? What does it do? I have no idea. I just like the name. It does sound good. Uh, yes, you were saying. So, uh, what have you been up to? Trying to stay out of trouble. So, how is that working out? Pretty well, at least up until now. Right now, I'm not so sure. But you're a real tiger, is that right? Yes, that's correct. Uh, forgive me if I seem too blunt, but... Is it true that you eat people? That's a difficult question for someone who's trying to stay out of trouble. I'm sorry. I realize that, but I do think it's something that a lot of people want to know. Well, let me say this. Suppose someone brings you a taco. Oh, a taco sounds really good right now. I know, like everything else. Try to concentrate here. Suppose someone brings you a taco. Okay, I'm seeing myself with a taco. You don't have it yet. Someone is holding the taco in front of you. Okay, I can see the taco in front of me. And suppose you haven't eaten all day and you're really hungry. Okay, I'm really hungry. Give me the taco. That person who's holding the taco wants you to say, please. Okay, please, 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 I'm saying it. Are you going to ask a lot of questions right now? No, no questions, just give me the taco. You're not particularly curious about what's in the taco? No, no, just give me the taco and I'll find out for myself. Okay. Now the person has given you the taco and you've just finished eating it. What? What? That was too quick. Have you got another taco on you? Sorry, only one to a customer. Well, how about a burrito? I'm not picky. How about a burrito? All right then, our little experiment is over. What do you mean it's over? I want that burrito. Now, what if I told you that the taco you ate contained meat from a human being. How's that again? What if I told you that the taco you ate contained meat from a human being? Well, how about the burrito? Is that kosher? <laughs> I think I've demonstrated the answer to your original question. I think I could really use that aspirin. Is there anything else you want to ask? Um, well, so how's your Uncle Tony? Please don't make me say it. You know, your Uncle Tony, how is he? I know where this is going, but I'd rather not. Really, he's fine. Oh, come on. I went along with you on the taco thing. The least you can do is... Oh, all right then. 
He's great. I just can't do the voice. Pardon me, I'd just like to interject here. Go right ahead. I don't bite. Really? A figure of speech. Let's let the man talk. Thank you. I'm here to talk about the census. Oh, that's a very important topic. Welcome to the show. Are you a census taker? Not exactly. I'm from the AAA. The AAA? I didn't know they were helping out with the census. Uh, let me clarify. I'm from the American Ambidextrous Association. Our motto is, we take an even-handed approach. <laughs> that sounds good. Like everything else, remember? So, what are you doing with the census? I'm trying to get a higher count for ambidextrous people. Um, uh, why? Don't you see? A higher census count means better representation. It means more funding. It gets more attention spent on the things that are of interest to the ambidextrous community. I didn't realize there even was an ambidextrous community. <laughs> That's why it's so vitally important to get a higher count in the census. It will help us get our message out there. And what is your message? Like I said, we take an even-handed approach. <laughs> well, that seems harmless enough. How can I help? Just sign this form in which you self-identify as being fully or partially ambidextrous. But I'm completely right-handed. A lot of people think that way, but it's not really true. When you tie your shoelaces, do you use only one hand? Well, I'm more of a Velcro man myself. <laughs> but do you use only your right hand even then? Well, no, I, I guess I do use my left hand a little. So, you see... You're partly ambidextrous after all. All right, I see your point. I guess I can sign your form. Thank you. You won't regret it. Uh, is it okay if I sign the form with my right hand? Sure, we don't judge. <laughs> there you go. Thanks. Now, how about you, Mr. Tiger? I think I'll hold off for now. Like I said before, I'm trying to stay out of trouble, and I detect a slippery slope here somewhere. Some other time, then. See you later. Well, he seemed pleasant enough. Those guys always do. At least, when they want something. But you're ill at ease. I can't quite put my finger on it. You don't have fingers. You have claws. <laughs> that might be part of it. What's the rest of it? Listen to this.
And that's our show. Tune in again next time for episode 20 of Radio Free Filler. <laughs>